Got a padded cell. Is that a hint that I should be using my camcorder right now to record these? Record these things on the walls? Signs, symbols, looks like writing in blood. Father Martin's cell. The priest, Father Martin, brought me here to show me something. Thinks I'm going to be a witness for whatever batshit crazy he's trying to sell me. This Dr. Wernick is at the centre of whatever went wrong here. But he died more than ten years ago. Rest in peace, says the blood on the wall. Hmm. Huh? You're letting me out, Doctor? Madhouse, isn't it? <laughs> the trouble is, you don't know which ones are going to attack you, and which ones are just docile, just stood there like lemons. Headbutting the wall. Oh, good grief. There is my blood if they want to get out. You. Hello. Hi, yeah. Oh. Only me! Brains on the floor? What the hell is that? Ugh. Yeah, we'll just shut you in, buddy. Don't want any accidents here. God. Who's this? Father Martin's man. Maybe. He looks nervous. I would like to kill him. As would I. The preacher asked us not to. It would be impolite. Not here. We give him a running start. There's an idea. And when we kill him, we kill him slow. Such patience. I want his tongue. And liver. They are yours. They want my... well, he wants my tongue and liver. All in good time. People opening doors, running out, running back in. It's just... it's just crazy, isn't it? Crazy. You look like you've seen a ghost. No ghosts. These all cells. There's a couple of beds to hide under if I need them. Sleep no more. Space alone. Leave me 
Okay, so it seems to me the only way out is through this door here. It's not. They were waiting for us. No, it's not because this is a cell. Right, okay. Um, I know another way out of here. Anyone? I'm struggling a little bit to figure out how to get out. Hello? B block. Get out of here! Leave me be! Move! Move! Move yourself! Can I get out? Can I get through? Hello? Speak to me, man! Speak to me! What do you want? Battery lamp again. Side step, side step. Be careful not to fall, don't look down, look to the wheel. I didn't wait until I finished, oh, but I saved some for you. Just wait. <sighs> Full of crazies, this place. Full of absolute crazies. God always provides a way. Follow the blood trails to the exit. Sounds easy enough, shall we? Contamination. Oh, lovely. I'm going to say any batteries around here? <laughs> Just hiding away. And indeed there is. Lovely stuff. Picked up battery. Don't mind if I do. Oh, there's a blood trail there, but I don't think we can open this door. No. So we'll have to go around, up and across a few corridors, a few scares here and there. Down the drain. The only way out is down. Down the drain. Drain, drain, drain. If you don't go down, you're gonna die. Blah de blah. From Wolfram at Merck. Off core. Patient art program. Patient Father Martin Archibald. 
Helen, Dr. Zietner gave me your info to contact regard, uh, regarding the cancellation of the arts programme. My patient Martin Ar Arkinbald has made enormous strides in his therapy on account of his finger painting. Just in the week since cancelling the arts programme, his schizoaffective assertions of some higher calling have accelerated enormously. Please, just let the man finger paint. The few dollars you're saving on temper paint is more than swallowed by the cost of clozapine. I can't imagine the logic at play here unless Murkoff wants our patients to become more disengaged from reality. Last of the great finger painters. Down the drain, down the drain, hello, down the drain. If I sing to myself while I'm doing this, it just makes it, it just, it just relaxes me, you know, makes it less horrifying. Oh, this bit isn't particularly scary so far. Closing doors behind you will slow your pursuers. Good idea. Inactive. Well, that's where the blood leads. There's a door there. We can vault over this and go this way. We have a split path scenario. How I love split paths. Right. We'll open this door. Get attacked. Shut the door behind us. Hello? They weren't experiments. They were rituals. A, a conjuring. This looks like a dead end. Taking mental note of all the hiding places just in case I need them. I got a feeling I might do here. Computer walkie talkie. Can't use it. Right, so it's not that way. Which means it must be this way. Here's one with a baton, which means we are going to have to uh, somehow get round him. This will be fun. supposed to get past hello peekaboo hello okay fortunately we can't throw items around and cause distractions so shut up so so I'm uh, thinking that I'm going to have to scare him into chasing me somewhere, but where do I go? Maybe if I... Let me think about it. Maybe if I put my head up here so that he runs around, I quickly go in a, in a locker and he might run off around the corner and I sort of come out behind him? that work? I'll try it. Wait a minute. <laughs> Prepare yourself. 
Get rid of that. Get rid of that. In a minute, we'll sort of pop up here like this and go. Hello, hello. Come and get me, you big lug. Hello. Come and get me. What's he doing? Okay. Now, come and get me. I like you to stay quiet. Okay. He's not going to attack me. I like you to stay quiet. Good. Until he flips. That was uh, surreal. He didn't want to. Didn't want to attack me. Another one. He doesn't want to attack me though. Okay, we're off and running. Ding, 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 ding. We got a nut job on the loose. Vault. Shut the door in his face. And go in a locker. Oh. See if he's gone. <clears throat> I think he's gone. We could close this door behind us. This is a metal door. He can't smash this down, can he? As long as you always have an escape plan, you're good to go. That's what I'm beginning to realise with this game. Just look at where all the hiding spots are, all the areas where you can slow people down, so that when the chase is on, you're less inclined to panic. I mean, I still panic a little bit, but I'm less inclined to panic. Right, okay. So, he was down there. We'll just have a look in here. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so he only attacks if you go too close, but what about if I want to go into that little room there? Does he still hit me? Can I just skirt past? Four. There must be something worth my time and effort in here. Surely it wouldn't just put me in here just for a simple battery. And again, could do. No papers, no documents, nothing of importance. Okay, thank you so much. Where did this other guy go? He disappeared. That's good of him. Make my life a little bit easier. Right. Activate the airlock. Why would I want to do that? Because the game is asking me to. That's why. Don't question it. Just bloody do it. Okay, if you insist. Follow the blood. What did that do? Oh. 
Oh my god. He saw me go in here. I'm out of here. He saw me go in there. How stupid. Oh, this. This airlock. Right, okay, this is a new, a new airlock which we've never seen here before. Right, I'm just going to uh, sort, sort this phone out. It's flaming constant beeping. It's just WhatsApp. It's, I hate the damn thing. Put on silent, bear with me. De -de 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 -de. Sorry about this, guys. I'll cut it out. Or maybe I won't. I don't know. Depends what mood I'm in. De -de -de. Right, good to go. Shut up. Onwards to glory. Follow the blood. That we did. I like a pinky and perky. Paragons of patience. Joe like in the suppression of our desires. But now, now, now we indulge. Yes. His tongue and his liver. Yours. Mine. My tongue and my liver. You're gonna have to catch me for it. Batteries here? No. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to straight into this window, but uh, aren't Pinky and Perky there? Going to kill me if I go in through there? Surely not. Surely the game will force me to into their path. <sighs> Didn't think so. Right, what's in here? document. Proper purge gate maintenance is crucial to Project Wall Rider security. Please refer to Murkoff Court maintenance manual, whatever. I'll seek guidance from a supervisor with a proper security clearance. I'll do just that, buddy. Where is said manual? Go through this airlock. Put a lock on me if I go through. Sh shut me, uh, lock me in. This door needs a key card. I assume I don't have it. Nope, not yet. So here it is. Into the darkness once again. No, no. Did you just rip somebody's head off? Oh, I've got two new ones here. Necromantic. Fuck this place. Seriously, just fuck this place. Dying keeps moving lower on the list of the worst things that could happen to me here. And now, total security. I can't shake Chris Walker, the big ugly fucker who likes ripping off people's heads. I hear him muttering about security protocols, containment. What if he's not the problem? What if he's tried to fix it? I seriously doubt he's trying to fix any problems. The only fix he's worried about is when is his next fix of human head gonna come around. 
Is this a key card? To the showers! No way to hide down here, so there'll be no monsters, surely. Just using my logical deduction here. There's nowhere to hide, they can't force anybody upon you, surely. That would just be not fair. Shower time, guys. This is a bit dark. I'll give them that much. Exit through the showers. Hmm. How are we on? 55 minutes. Oh, we're nearly outside. Okay, we'll go for about another 5 to 10 minutes and then we'll call it a close to this session. Uh, what are you doing? I... So ends my life with a knife through the back. Holy cow, did not see that one coming. And on that bombshell, I think we'll call a close to today's session. Uh, well, it didn't seem anywhere near as scary as the first time round. Maybe I'm getting used to the game, or maybe it was just maybe it's just leading me to a false sense of security. I don't know. But anyway, all I do know is that uh, next time we shall try and exit through the showers in one piece. Join me next time for that. See you soon.